Hi, I'm simply going to refer to myself as H because I find that a lot of people have problems trying to pronounce my real name. So, in all my channel videos, you'll probably hear me say hello, this is H. Makes it easier if I keep it short. Okay, um, I noticed that on YouTube there's a lot of people doing audio books or these pre pre recorded audio books created audio books and book reviews on one book in particular Dianetics the Modern Science of Mental Health which was a international seller apparently and sold over 16 million copies I'm reading from a book I have myself called Dianetics the Modern Science of Mental Health and I noticed with these audio books these created audio books and these book reviews they always all of them always leave out the most important piece in understanding the book what's been written or what's being said in there you know they all miss it out they all claim it's a full version well it can't be if you're missing this one important piece this is on uh, page 8 it's called the important note if you don't read this and you don't fully understand it and you follow this method you're not going to understand the book in fact you're not going to understand any book it's a great study tool I found I was in Scientology for a little while that's not really important at the moment we're concentrating on this book so I have that personal experience and understanding of what it was all about I am no longer affiliated with it it reads as follows in reading this book be very certain you never go past a word you do not fully understand no you can apply that to any book that you're reading studying researching in your personal life the only reason a person gives up a study or becomes confused or unable to learn is because he or she has gone past a word that was not understood the confusion or inability to grasp or learn comes after a word that the person did not have defined and understood. Have you ever had the experience of coming to the end of a page and realizing you didn't know what you had read? Well, somewhere earlier on that page you went past a word that you had no definition for or an incorrect definition for. Here's an example. Quote, it was found that when the Kripa school, school arrived, the children were quieter and when it was not present, they were much livelier. You see what happens? You think you don't understand the whole idea, but the inability to understand came entirely from the one word you could not define. Kripa school, which means twilight or darkness. It may not only be the new and unusual words that you will have to look up. Some commonly used words can often be misdefined and so cause confusion. This datum about not going past an undefined word is the most important fact in the whole subject of study. Every subject you have taken up and abandoned had its words which you failed to get defined. Therefore, in studying this book, be very very certain you never go past a word you do not fully understand if the material becomes confusing or you can't seem to grasp it there will be a word just earlier that you have not understood don't go any further but go back to before you got into trouble find a misunderstood word and get it defined here's a help one definitions I'm ad living here. As an aid to the reader, words most likely to be misunderstood, misunderstood have been defined in footnotes the first time they occur in the text. Words sometimes have several meanings. Footnote definitions in this book only give the meaning that the word has as it is used in the text. Other definitions for the word can be found in a dictionary. A glossary including all the footnote definitions is at the back of this book the modern science of mental health so he's stressing there L. Ron Hubbard's stressing there that like 
that's a very important note you, you gotta read it and you fully understand what you're studying to find the words right uh, where he says don't go any further but go back to before you got to, into trouble find the misunderstood word and get it defined and then after that it gives you a hint at using a, a really good dictionary with three that has three meanings say like funk and wagnall funk and wagnall the old dictionary oxford dictionary yeah they've got to have the um three definitions and you find one right and then what you do is you get say like what we did in the class when i was in, in scientology you had all these different objects toys or whatever in a carton and like you put put them out on the table and then you use them to define the meaning of the definition given right and then through that role play you figure out does that definition fit that word yes or no if it doesn't well then you move on to the next definition right and then you do the same thing and if that doesn't fit then you move on to the last one which hopefully should be the one that fits you know in your understanding so you don't have a misunderstood you've cleared it up okay so yeah as, as he said there's, there's a glossary as he says in this book there's a glossary at the back for the words that are used in this throughout this book let's have a look here okay um yeah so so if you have uh what you could see says is a misunderstood you can go at the back where the glossary is and get it defined clear up any misunderstoods so like if he's used a word in this book called basic such as basic he's got here the first engram on any chain of similar engrams basic is simply earliest what's an engram oh i wonder what an engram is so you go into the gloss glossary here and you look for the word engram off the top of my head i remember it's like the small uh, piece of information of an event that happened to you in your life you know it's like a charge in your mind you might see someone walking down the street that looks similar to a guy that bullied you whether it be at school or in day to day life right he looks exactly the same he walks the same everything about him is the same so you start thinking here, oh no it's that guy he's going to bully me again you know the fear sets in the adrenaline starts pumping yeah and you like maybe hide hide something you know hide in a shop or something like that until he goes past because you're so afraid he's going to bully you again all right he's walking towards you and he goes past and you think oh whew. you know i avoided that guy thank goodness for that and it wasn't the guy at all it's just the guy that looked like him and you know, had similar features and walked like him etc yeah so we'll have a look at the word engram here what it actually is defined here if it isn't here Engram, a mental image picture which is a recording of an experience containing pain, unconsciousness, and a real or fancied threat to survival. It is a recording in the reactive mind of something which actually happened to an individual in the past and which contained pain and unconsciousness, both of which are recorded in the mental image picture called an engram it must by definition definition it must by definition have impact or injury as part of its content these engrams are a complete recording down to the last accurate detail of every perception present in a moment of partial or full unconsciousness so you notice that i started on a word there right when I did that, I was, it was always pointed out to me, oh, you have a misunderstood going to find it, you see. Um, yeah, I'm just 
yeah, I can make an excuse. I'm just in poor light here. But um, yeah, it's pretty much so. Um, yeah, so if, as I was saying earlier, if people miss out that most important note, they're not going to fully understand the book, the modern science of mental health. They're going to think they do, or they're going to get so far and they go, oh, stuff this book, you know, I can't understand the damn thing. Yeah, that's because they had a misunderstood a word that they hadn't a definition for, or they hadn't defined. All right. So this is basically an upgrade to the uh, text voice video version I've done years ago. Uh, yeah. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Give me your likes and add comments and I will make some more videos covering different subjects and books such as this.